Hi, yogis. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. I am Nicole from Nicole Star Studios. Today, we're going to have a nice uh, 30 minute vinyasa flow. So, if you are going to be using your props, blankets, bolsters, blocks, straps, and eye pillows, then have them handy. Um, you do not have to use props, but I will be cueing them. I would recommend, especially having blocks and a strap. But again, if you don't have those, then no worries. Uh, and come to a seated position. I know usually I come to a cross-legged position, but my hip is feeling a little wonky today. So I am going to honor my body and I am going to come to more of a kneeling position. Not quite hero's pose where I would sit in between my feet. You can also sit up on blocks. So either come to a cross-legged position or you can come to hero's pose like me. You can play whatever music you'd like. I'm going to be playing 30 minute flow with the capital letter A in parentheses from my Spotify playlist. So if you're playing, go ahead and start that now. Setting it to the side, returning to your starting position of choice, palms either up or down on your knees or thighs. Palms open to receive down to ground or in a mudra, a hand gesture. And when you find a place of stillness, if it serves you, close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. Cleansing sigh. Allowing that breath to invite you into this present moment. allowing everything else to fade away. Simply being here right now. And if it serves you, maybe your breath would like to deepen, creating that ujjayi breath that we use during a vinyasa flow. That slight constriction in the throat as if you're fogging up a mirror with your mouth closed, that Darth Vader breath. And just maybe the sound of that Ujjayi breath anchors you more here into the present moment, more into your body. Allowing this moment to be our happy. the thanks, the gratitude for all that we receive, the giving, all that we offer out, the balancing point between giving and receiving is the happy, happy in the present moment. And as we embrace this happy Thanksgiving, this idea of gratitude, can you embrace gratitude, thankfulness, without forcing it? This week, we've talked a lot about being or becoming, correcting or creating. and the option to be present. Only you get to decide what phase you're in. You get to decide what direction you are going. And as the arrow of your life that is sometimes being pulled back, sometimes taking aim and sometimes being launched forward, Remember, you are the archer. You get to decide. Offering gratefulness for where it is deserved. 
knowing that you do not have to force gratitude in anything that has happened to you. You are not who you are because of the tough times that you've been through. You are who you are despite them. And as we embrace this happy, this present moment, let's remind ourselves of the seat of inner peace, the center. And from those words, form your intention for your practice today. Let's offer it out, allowing inner to meet outer with an own. Inhale. Uh... When you are ready, flip your palms facing down on your knees or your thighs and slowly open your eyes. Come into a tabletop position, wrists in line with shoulders, knees in line with hips, spreading the fingers nice and wide. Inhaling as we lower the belly, reaching through the top of the head and the tailbone. Exhaling as you round, draw belly by an inch into chest. And then just moving at your own pace with your own breath. So maybe when you lower your belly, you wish to shift your weight forward. Your shoulders are in front of the wrists. And maybe when you round, you want to curl the toes under, even cupping the hands to open up through that carpal tunnel. Again, allowing your breath to move you. You can also add neck circles. You can add hip circles. You can even add barrel rolls where you do both of those. Again, just like I mentioned earlier, you are the archer. You are the one in charge of your practice. I am simply a guide. But these are your decisions, your choices in how you want to move, what you want to do, listening to that inner voice. If Come back to neutral after you've evened out both sides. And again, we're going to be here for a moment. So if you're feeling a lot of pressure under your knees, you can take your mat, fold it. So there's a little bit more support. You can also take a blanket, open it up and place it under those knees. Returning to tabletop as we step our right foot back, curling our right toes under. Now I want you to really drive through that right heel and then shift the femur bone, the bone in the thigh up into that hip bone, that hip joint, that socket. Yes. And now you can stay there or you can lift your right leg. Stay here, or maybe you wish to walk your left arm forward, maybe cupping the hand from here, bring your armpit, your right armpit away from the mat, broaden your collarbone, stay here, or maybe you wish to lift through that left arm thumb facing forward. Now draw your left fingertips forward if it is up, and then allow the shoulder blade to go down the back. Now you'll hear in classes a lot, shoulders down the back, shoulders down the back. That is a nice option when it is rightfully served. It doesn't mean you should always have your shoulders down your back. That rotation is important. So from here, I want you to lengthen through the top of your head, lengthening through the tailbone and see if you can create the spaciousness between your hips and your ribs and also feel that center, feel those abdominal muscles firing. So you have all of it going on here. Remember, at any point, you can lower your hand down and your foot down. I know you're feeling this fire. And stay here or inhale, lift through your right arm, your left right leg, your left hand. On the exhale, draw left elbow to right knee. Inhaling open. Exhale round again, moving at your own pace with your own breath. Very nice, everybody. And after about three to five times, return to center, bringing your left hand down, bringing your right knee down. Take a breath in, breath out. Stepping your left leg back, curling the toes under, driving through that heel, and then the, bring the femur bone into that hip joint. Great. 
Stay here or lift your left leg, flexing through the foot, toes pointing down. Stay here or walk your right hand forward, maybe even cup in the hand, bringing your armpits away from the mat, broaden the collarbone. Stay here or lift your right arm up in the air, thumb facing the ceiling. Reach to those right fingertips as you allow the shoulder blade to go down the back. Very nice, everybody. So again, have this extension through your right hand, your left heel, and then draw everything to that beautiful center, creating the space between hips and ribs so your abdominal muscles are engaged without force. Again, we're not forcing this happy. We're not forcing this gratitude. We're simply finding our center. Stay here or lift through your left leg, your right arm, inhaling. On the exhale, maybe your right elbow meets your left knee, moving at your own pace with your own breath. Inhale, open, exhale, close. This bird dog pose. And after about three to five rounds, we turn back to neutral, bringing your right hand down, your left knee down, breath in, breath out. Curling your toes under, lift your knees off of the mat about two to three inches and hover. So this allows us to engage those quadriceps, firing up the quadriceps. Keep your heels up as high as you can as you lift your tailbone up as high as you can. And then lift your tailbone up and back as you release your heels down, downward facing dog. So go ahead and walk your dog. You can bend one knee and then switch. And just simply move at your own pace with your own breath. Nice, everybody. Allow your feet to be about hip width apart. Now, if your feet are about hip width apart and you feel that there's some pinching in your lower back, then go ahead and step your feet wider. If you are pregnant, allow your feet to be pretty far apart. I would say almost mat width apart. Good, that spaciousness between your hips and the ribs. Broad collarbone. Neck is released. Look at the top of your mat. Bend your knees, step or hop to the top of the mat. Feet can be hip width apart or a little bit closer together, whatever serves you best, whatever serves those hamstrings, whatever serves the lower back. Lengthen your forehead away from you, your tailbone behind you. On the exhale, soft knees, allow your stomach to be completely on your thighs. You can bring your hands by your feet. You can plant them in the cup and we are gonna stay here for a moment. Release your neck, maybe look at your knees or even your belly button. And then you can begin to straighten out the legs as long as there's still that abdominal muscle to thigh connection. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Use your legs, push your legs into the earth. So it's called rooting to rise. So you're using these beautiful, strong legs, push them into the earth to help rebound yourself up. Palms touch overhead. On the exhale, hands come to heart center, flowing through a traditional sun salutation A to warm up the body. Again, I am gonna be moving as just cueing the breath, cueing what a version of my breath would be. Sometimes it's faster, sometimes it's slower. Honor your breath. Inhale, arms up, palms touch. Exhale, hinging at the hips as we fold forward. Inhaling, half lift. Exhale, bend the knees, place the hands onto the mat. Hop or step back, your plank, your high push-up. Knowing at any point we can lower our knees down and high push-up. From here, drive through the heels then shift your weight forward so the heels are more aligned with the balls of your feet. Just like we did earlier, create that spaciousness between hips and ribs. Armpits away from the mat, broad collarbone. So we're creating this, this yoga, this hatha yoga, this yoga of opposing force. At any point, you can lower your knees down. I know I'm having you hold this and I know I'm still talking. So we have this yoga of opposing force where you have your one part of your body drawing this way, one part of your body drawing this way, and then we're embracing the center. Remember, the happy in our thanksgiving on the exhale, lower in knees, chest, chin, or if you know chaturanga, go into chaturanga. I'll be teaching it next. Pull the floor toward you as we relay all the way onto the mat. Spread those fingers nice and wide. Push your pelvis into the earth as we inhale into your cobra. Broad collarbone, lengthen through the back of your neck. Breathe. On the exhale, curl your toes under. Transition either through tabletop, child's pose, and then tabletop again, and then downward facing dog, or right back into downward facing dog, whatever serves you best. From downward facing dog, look at the top of your mat, 
Bending your knees, half or step forward. As we inhale, come into that half lift. Exhale as we fold. And just maybe your feet want to come a little closer together. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. Strong legs as we inhale the arms up overhead, palms touch. Exhaling, hands to our heart center. Inhale, arms up, palms touch. Exhale, hinging at the hips, Uttanasana, our forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, bend the knees, place on the hands on the mat, hop or step back, plank, high push up. Stay here or shift your hips forward, shift your whole weight forward. You can lower knees, chest, chin, or if you want a chaturanga, you bend your elbows toward the back of the mat. Don't worry if they're scrunched too far in. Honor your body. Inhale, lift up into cobra or upward facing dog. Upward dog is the same concept as cobra, only our thighs are off the mat. Elbows are soft, collarbone is broad. Curl your toes under, exhale, transition into downward facing dog. And remember that transition is either tabletop, child's pose, then to downward dog, honor yourself. Uh, lift your right leg up in the air, bend your right knee, step it toward the top of the mat. If you step halfway, that is quite all right. Use your hand and step that foot up. Driving through that left heel, and then bring that left heel up, left heel more in line with the ball of your foot. That's the name of the game today. Right hip back to left ankle. So can you embrace this yoga of opposing force, this hatha yoga? By driving through the heel, bringing the back of your left thigh up toward the ceiling, lengthen your tailbone back, crown of your head is forward, broad collarbone is forward, and then here you are in the center the center of your being, the center of your chakras, right there in that beating heart. You're happy in this happy Thanksgiving. Plant your hands onto the mat, step your right foot back, plank high, push up, riding this exhale or the next exhale takes you into knees, chest, chin or chaturanga. Inhaling your upward facing dog or cobra. Curl your toes under, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up in the air. Exhale, bend your knee, step it forward, runner's lunge. Drive through right heel. Right heel comes up more in line with ball of the foot. Left hip back to right ankle. Tailbone is lengthening toward the back of your mat. Crown of the head is going beyond the top of your mat and you're living, breathing here in your heart. Planting your hands onto the mat, step left foot back, plank, high push up, riding this exhale. The next exhale takes you into knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Inhaling upward dog or cobra. Exhale down dog. Look at the top of your mat, bend your knees, hop or step forward as we inhale, half lift. Exhale, full. Root to rise. Inhale, arms up, palms touch overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms up, palms touch. Maybe you want to offer a back bend here. Remember, instead of thinking back bend, that looks great. Think heart opener. On the exhale, hinge from those hips. Yes, that's it. Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, bend the knees, place the hands onto the mat. Hop or step back, plank, high push up, riding this exhale. Or the next exhale takes you into knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Inhaling, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up in the air. Exhale, bend your knees, step it forward, runner's lunge. Taking those same verbal cues, driving through heel, heel comes up, right hip back to left ankle, long spine. Inhale, arms up, crescent warrior. Beautiful, everybody. Very nice. Now you can reach your arms long. You can cactus your arms if you'd like. You can clasp your hands behind you, placing your hands on the hips, seeing what serves you in this moment. On the exhale, bring the hands down, plant the hands onto the mat, step your right foot back, plank, high push up, giving you another option, bringing your foot down or keep it up in the air. Lower knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. If that right leg is still up, release right leg down, take a breath in. Give it back. Inhale, left leg up in the air. Exhale, bend the knee, step it forward, runner's lunge. Finding those alignment cues we've been working on. Inhaling, crescent warrior. Arm variation of choice. 
So we ground into the earth. We reach to the heavens. Where are we living? Right here. In our fire chakra and in our hearts. On the exhale, bring the hands on down to the mat. Step your left leg back. Keep it up in the air or lower it down as you go into knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, cobra. Exhale, downward dog. If that leg is up, release the leg down. Breath in, breath out. Look at the top of the mat, bend our knees, hop or step forward, inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Root to rise, arms up, palms touch. Exhale, hands to heart center. One more flow, and then we're going to chill it, cool it down. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, fold. Inhaling, half lift. Exhale, float into your plank or step. Lower knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Inhaling, upward dog or cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, bend the knee, step it forward, runner's lunge. You know we've been here before. Inhale, crescent warrior. From here, have your blocks handy in our crescent warrior. Bring your hands to heart. All those alignment cues that we've been focusing on. Root down, reach up, live here. Step your left foot forward, pause. Ground through your right foot, really root it down into the earth. Draw the bone into the sockets. With the strength of your right leg, kind of seesaw so you can bring your left leg up. Remember, keep your hands at heart center, or you can bring your hands down onto those blocks. Just like we did in bird dog, I want you to drive through your left heel, toes pointing down, femur bones to socket, crown of the head is long. You can also bring your arms forward, out to the side, back. Vibhadrasana three, warrior three, strong, powerful warriors that sometimes reach to the past, doot, doot. sometimes reach to the future, doot, doot. but no matter what, has no choice but to live in the present by breathing, by our heart beating. Whenever you are ready, release your left foot down, arms up, Crescent warrior, hands to the mat, step right foot back, plank high push up. Again, you can keep it up in the air. Lower knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga on the exhale. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step it forward, runner's lunge. The next inhale, runner's lunge transforms into crescent warrior. Powerful word right there, right? Hands to our heart center. Step your right foot forward, root down through your left leg. Use the ground, use the earth to bring your right leg up again, using blocks. If you would like, blocks are not a lesser variation of this pose. They are simply growing your arms, arm extenders. Reach through your right heel, toes pointing down, femur bone in. Reach to the crown of your head, live here. Breath by breath, heartbeat by heartbeat. When you are ready, bend your left knee, lower right leg down, arms reach overhead. Bring the hands to the mat. If you did use those blocks, scooch those blocks out of the way. Step your left foot back, plank high push up. Again, you can keep left leg up in the air, riding this exhale, or the next exhale takes you into knees, chest, chin, chaturanga. Inhaling upward, dog or cobra. Exhale down, dog. Take a breath. Give it back. Lower knees to the mat, big toes together. Exhale, child's pose. Balancing flow with stillness. Now in these 30 minute classes, we do not necessarily have a lot of time, these 30 minute vinyasa flows to really go through a long cool down. 
So if before you go into Shavasana, if your body is craving some more asanas, more poses such as twist or happy baby, please honor your body more than what I am telling you to do. Coming up to tabletop, either crossing out your shins and sitting back or kicking your feet to the side as we come towards the middle of our mat. Bringing those hands behind the knees, inhale, open. Exhale, round as we release down, knees to chest. And rocking side by side if that serves you. Inhaling. On the exhale, draw nose to knees, squeeze into a ball, giving yourself this well-deserved hug. Squeeze everything nice and tight, deep breath in, and let it go. Release legs down, arms beside you. Up to receive, palms down to ground. Or maybe you want to place your hands on your heart or one hand on your stomach and one hand on your chest. Allow your feet to fall away from one another. Relax ankles, lower legs, knees, upper legs, hips, legs top to bottom, bottom to top, the whole pelvis, abdominal muscles, chest, spine and back, top to bottom, bottom to top, shoulders, upper arms, elbows, lower arms, wrists, palms of the hands, Relax arms and hands, top to bottom, bottom to top, neck, jaw. Let the tongue fall from the roof of your mouth. Inner ears, outer ears, cheeks, eyes, eyebrows, space between your eyebrows, mind's eye, top of the head, scalp, back of the head, inside the head, brain stem, downstairs brain, upstairs brain, right side brain, left side brain, sensing the brain's whole, integrated, surrender brain, Inside the head, face, outside the head, whole body with a deep, audible sigh. <sighs> Welcome to Shavasana. opening our deepest eyes. The inner life of any great thing will be incomprehensible to me until I develop 
and deepen an inner life of my own. Gently wiggle fingers and toes, bringing the soles of your feet onto the mat. With your right arm overhead, your left arm over chest, roll onto the right and pause in the fetal position. Corpse pose Shavasana representing the death of that moment, that practice. Fetal position representing the rebirth of a new moment, a new version of you to take with you off of the mat. Whenever you're ready, return to the stillness of a seated position, the balancing point, the B E. Breath in. Pause. Retain the breath. Hold the breath. The beat between breaths. Exhale. Let it out. So often we focus on the inhale or the exhale. We often forget that there cannot be an inhale without an exhale and an exhale without an inhale. And there always is a balancing point, a pause between the two. Inhale, arms up overhead, gathering the energy of our practice today. Exhaling, hands to heart center. Allowing my words to become your words as we close our practice. I am a vessel for divine light, seeking the best and ultimate healing. Prayer hands to mind's eye. Thank you for this divine healing light. Guide me well. Prayer hands back to heart, bowing head to heart. Taking a moment of honest gratitude. The divine light in me honors the divine light in you. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please remember that all these classes are contribution-based. So if you would like to see them continue, go to the link in the descriptions and contribute whatever is in your financial well-being. And also, I would really love to hear from you. There is also a survey in the description. So please fill out that survey so I can know what you're looking for if I am not providing it. I hope you have a wonderful day. Stay in the light, yogis. <laughs>